Hey everyone, this video is going to give a brief overview of a website called wheelofnames.com. So when you go to wheelofnames.com, it's going to give you a generic wheel here and it'll already have generic names built in and you have a couple options. So you can sign up and register for a free account and use Wheel of Names for free. The advantage of doing this is that it will save your wheels that you create so that you don't have to keep recreating. If you don't want to create an account, that's fine. You can actually create the wheels on the fly and continue to use it but when you leave you'll have to recreate if you want to use that again so what will names does is give you basically a random name picker so you can add your classes on here you can add group names on here one option it does give you so that you don't have to type in your names every time is you can link this to a google spreadsheet of your names and anytime you make the edit on the spreadsheet, the edits will show directly onto the wheel. So in order to add your own names here, obviously I just showed you, you could link a spreadsheet or you can just copy and paste right into here or you can just type in the names yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in some names. All right, so as you can see, I've added a bunch of names here. I do have the option to sort these alphabetically if I wanted them in alphabetical order or I can keep them shuffled. I don't know how much it matters if you're just using this as a random name picker so in order for this to work all you have to do is tap and you can tap anywhere it doesn't have to be in the middle it doesn't have to be directly on the wheel just tapping so it spins and then once it selects a name it emphasizes the winner by pulling it up in a big screen here I have the option to remove the name so that this person isn't selected again but I caution if you remove it's removed from the list so you would have to add it back to the list if you wanted this person to be on the wheel again if I just close out it keeps the name in there with the chance of them being landed on again you notice when the wheel was spinning there was a sound effect and you also notice that when the selection occurred that confetti was thrown and there was applause. You can select all of those things. Up here in customize, you can start customizing your wheel. And remember, if you log in within a, a free account, you can actually save this so you won't have to redo this every single time. But when my wheel was spinning, there was a ticking sound, but you have other options that you can use. You can even test them out right here. You can then set the spin time, how long you want the wheel to spin for, and how many names are on the wheel. Normally, you might be using this for your class, so it might be 30 names, so I don't know how much you really need to adjust this. After the spin, you saw that there was applause, but you have other options here as well to choose from that you want to hear. This was confetti launched on mine, but you don't have to use the confetti. Then there's some other options here as well. Well, the other thing you notice is that when you come into the wheel, it's these generic colors. But if you want to customize your own colors, you can do that. There's categories. Once you select a category, you then have themes to pick from and it'll change these colors. You can also select a background color, any color you want, just by clicking on the wheel. The last option it gives you is to put an image in the center of the wheels. Right now I have none. They have a gallery to pick from and I picked from their gallery, but you can also customize and add your own image. I'm going to say OK, so give me my purple background and put the money, the cash in the middle. I also have the option to do a dark mode. And then if I don't like the dark mode, I just click it again to get out of it. I can also put this in full screen so you don't see everything. So now it's in full screen. I can exit that full screen anytime. So because I've already selected one person, it gives me the results and I can clear that list of my results. Now, normally this is used as a random name picker, but I like to maybe mix things up a bit and use something like this if we're reviewing a topic or concept so i'm gonna open one of my saved ones and it's just gonna be a simple name that animal so i actually added in images and so i place these images in here just by simply saying add image and going through my laptop and selecting the images right from here it works the same way by clicking and spinning i was also able to add a center image myself and i did a bitmoji with name that animal at the end i could share this with any of my students but it would be individual not a collaborative effort so so really I might do this if we're virtual I'd share my screen and show the wheel of names if we were in the classroom I would just put this up on the board one nice thing about being in the classroom is a student could come up and click on it to be a participant and select the wheel itself create the spinning rather than just me as the teacher doing it all by myself so I hope you like wheel of names it just gives you a fun option to pick student names review concepts terms or pick and select groups